So this is just a quick little glass I'm going to do. This is a stemless wine glass, and it's tinted black. Um, got it at the dollar store. I took some painter's tape and sliced it a little skinnier. I didn't have tape as thin as this, and just crisscrossed it. I left the lip line covered because I don't like to have anything by the lip line. It's really not very safe for 99% of products to be there. So we keep that bare. Um, but I'm going to spray paint it. Uh, I did clean it with alcohol well first and took the tag off the bottom, of course. And I'm kind of obsessed with this metallic chrome by Krylon. And don't mind the can. It's been obviously spray painted too. So I'm going to take this over to my spray paint area and I'm just going to go over it with that and then we're going to see what happens. Okay, you're going to have to bear with me a little bit because I'm working with one hand. I've got a, I don't have a, a phone holder here in this area. I'll have to work on that, but so I'll have to spray it and turn it, spray it and turn it, etc. So getting this paint shaken up really well. And let's, let's do this. And I see where I could have pushed that tape down a little better. So let's hope it doesn't seep in there too much. I'm turning it. I should look a little more in the bottom. Okay. I don't see any spots. Uh oh, I see a cat here though. That's not good. But I may do something over this yet. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to peel the tape off. And I think it's going to look pretty cool. Okay. Here we have our dried glass, so let's take a look and see what we've got. Sticky. And I taped this pretty well, didn't I? Here we go. This is just generic painter's tape from the dollar store, or not dollar store, but Dollar General. It wasn't a dollar for sure, but it is pretty good. just get one big chunk here. Should have brought a craft knife up here. Sometimes the funnest part of doing this, which is revealing what's going on underneath, is also the most difficult. There we go. Well, I can see already I have a few little spots. I can take a blade to that and scratch that off. That's okay. Not a big deal. Trying not to scratch over where I painted when I'm picking away.
Then I need to decide what I'm going to do if I'm going to leave it as it is after I clean it up or if I'm going to embellish it or put some gems on there. Yeah, it's really stuck on there. All right. That looks pretty cool. Like I said, these little spots here, if you can see them, those can be scraped off. So this is a good start. Now I will think about what to do. I'll clean it up and I will get back to you. Okay, so I figured out what I'm going to do. I am putting these gems on. I've got all these pretty gems here. Um, it's kind of a putsy job. So, and I want them to be a little bit even around the glass. So what I've done is put a rubber band to give me an idea. Um, it's, you know, probably not going to be perfect and that's fine. I'm far from perfect, but it is, like I said, kind of a putsy job to do and I'm notorious for gluing fingers and other things. So I got this Loctite uh, super glue and I do use clear Gorilla Glue. I love it. The only thing is with the some of the clear gel glues, the gems will slide. So I want this to be stuck pretty quickly and I am going to seal this. I may seal this one with Mod Podge so that you can see how easy it is to to seal a glass that way. Normally, I use resin on all my glasses. And I'll find one here, a couple of them. Normally, I use resin, makes them nice and shiny. The only thing is, it's kind of time intensive, and I want to make this simple for people to. Be able to do glasses with things that you already have around your house and most people have Mod Podge and I actually I use Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Glue Decoupage uh, as well as Gorilla Glue Clear Glue but like I said today we're going to use this Loctite and I've got some tweezers I've got a roll of tape so this glass doesn't roll around I don't want to have to chase it so I'm just going to turn it and Grab my gem, got my gem, and I'm kind of working under this, so I think what I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue alongside here. I wonder if that'll help. Oh, yeah, there it is. It squeezes right out, and I'm going to dip it in the glue, and then I'm going to place it. I'm going to push it down a little bit. Now, the only thing I noticed that's kind of weird with this being spray paint is the glue might actually be reacting a little bit with the spray paint because over here, see, it's got kind of a lighter, kind of a circle around it. I don't, I can't really, well, maybe you can see it there. So I think that's probably from the glue is maybe dissolving a little bit of the paint. But I think once I go over that with the Mod Podge, it'll be fine. So I'm going to have to leave this sit for a little bit so it doesn't slide. I actually used maybe too much glue there. I think it's okay. All right, I'm going to turn it and hope that it doesn't slide around. Oops, see if we can get it to the next one here. There we go. And grab a gem. There goes my glue tipped over, and my gem is sticking to my tweezers. Oops. Perfect. Now it's on my finger. Okay, grab a little more glue on there. I'm gonna drop it. When I said it was a putsy job, I wasn't kidding. There. 
I also don't want it to stick to the rubber band because that's not going to be a good look. I'm going to try turning this light off. It feels like that's too much glare and it's also an LED light. There we go. Maybe that's a little better. It's blinding me and it's very hot. I really need to get some readers. I actually put my phone on top of a magnifying glass that is lit because it helps me to see better. And it's just a really good holder because I, I want to be able to see and make sure I'm always in the frame. I'm really bad about going outside the frame. And I just put my hand in the super glue. Okay. All right then, well, let's try turning it. Grab another gem. Get a little glue on it. If I can, it's just sticking to everything. Get down. Oh, oh no. Oh God. <laughs> Can I even finish this? Now I really feel like I am so blind. I avoided readers for years. And maybe I need to get them. Okay, I'm not sure how stuck on that is. Mm -hmm. That's stuck. Oh, maybe I should have went every other, huh? Okay, let's keep going. Random, random glitter from other projects. All right, got a little glue on there. Give her a stick. Oh. That rubber band's gonna stick right there, but <clears throat> I think it'll be fine. Let it sit for a minute. God, how many do we have to go? One, two, three, four. It's ten. These are sticking. See, it is kind of affecting this paint. And this was a complete experiment, so. But I'm glued here. Uh, I should I'm gonna put it up here. It's drying. Put it up top more. There. Okay. Some glue. Pop around there. Oh, that one worked. I hope there's enough glue on it. That was easy. By the time I get figure out the the simple way to do it, it's going to be done. Turn. Try to get that guy. Oop. Some glue. Really need a better video set up. I do have a really nice holder, but phone holder. But it covers up, like I said, it covers up the front of the phone, so I can't really see where I'm at. And I wish I would have known that when I bought it. All right, next. Not on the rubber band. Nope. Hmm. 
<sighs> All right, look at that. I'm done. I got one on each. No, that one didn't slide. It actually was just poorly placed. I don't think any of them slid. See, so you can see that where that glue kind of ate away at the paint. But maybe it'll be all right when I go over it. So we'll find out very shortly. So I let the gems dry. And I hope they're that they have dried long enough. Um, so I'm a little disappointed. And remember, this is an experiment. If I tilt it right, you can see, you see where that glue is. Then it kind of got gooped up on the side. And... I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. I don't want to scrape too much. I don't want to scrape that paint off. But it did it did affect the paint. And I, I kind of don't think that the Mod Podge is, or I should say the decoupage, is really going to help that. But we're going to do that anyway. So uh, something that I've learned already is next time I'm just going to go ahead and use either E6000 or my clear Gorilla Glue, probably the clear Gorilla Glue. And then, you know, I'll just let each gem sit. I'll put it in my tape roll and let it sit and just let it dry on its own. And it probably would just let it dry overnight. Or, well, that would take days to do it, but at least for a few hours till, till it sticks and it's not going to slide. I would just use a really small amount. Um, the Mod Podge will kind of reinforce the bond a little bit so um but anyway moving on they have this really nice set of oddball brushes from dick blick and i usually use a brush to apply mod podge however a lot of times when i put the decoupage on it's i'm i'm using it over like a tissue paper so it's already kind of rough and this is really smooth and when I do something smooth with the decoupage, I, I always find brush strokes. And I don't like that. And that's another reason why I like to resin. And um, if you are interested in learning my resin technique, I do have an alcohol inks glassware class on my website, which is calninarts.com. And you can find that link somewhere down below. Uh, you can check that out. And it's it's almost a five-hour course. And it shows you how to apply alcohol inks and then how to resin them safely and keep them food safe. And that's really important, the food safety, because um, a lot of people like to mix the inks with the resin. And, and that actually changes the resin and adds more toxicity. But anyway, moving along, I thought I would try one of these guys to do that. So let's shake up my decoupage a little bit and I'm just gonna go with one coat in this video because you know of course it has to dry and we need to put a few coats on and now this is actually considered dishwasher safe and I have never put a glass that has been decoupaged into the dishwasher I always wash even my resin glasses you can put them in the dishwasher but really if any moisture gets under there you end up, it's going to peel off. So I don't like to do that. I just figure I went through all the time to make these glasses. So I want to hand wash them because, you know, you're maybe not this glass, but, but you are really creating works of art when you make these glasses. You know, they're not just glasses, they're, they're art. So uh, let's kind of start. I'm going to start at the bottom and see if this is going to make a lot of a lot of brush strokes or, or that. We'll see what happens. Well, uh, yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, let's try. Let's try this brush. I always use a really soft brush for resin. Uh, actually, uh, you know what? We're just gonna go around. We're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna skip over the gems. I'll do those last. A really thin coat. And then if it does have a lot of lines to it, I'm going to just, with my next coat, I'll just kind of cross hatch, go the other way. 
and if anything it'll give it some texture maybe it'll look like it's supposed to be that way it's already drying and doesn't look too bad and I'll keep going around and thinning this out I don't know if it would help to water that down at all. I know there are a lot of great crafters out there that are much better at the Mod Podge stuff than I am. And you are more than welcome to put any advice in the comments or make comments. This may be a flop. It may not be, and there is shoot. There's a hair from the brush. That's getting a little oh no, look at that. I don't know, I'm gonna start calling this a flop. All these hairs are coming out of this brush. I know if I use this brush is probably going to be worse. Look, it pulls right out. Ay. Okay. I'm going to have to go back to the sponge. Oh, no. I think this is just a flap, you guys. I'm so sad. It had such potential. I don't even know if I can resin over it and fix it. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I don't want to go too high up. It's kind of a bummer. Well, if you got anything out of this whole video, it was watching me stick my hand in super glue, which by the way, I was trying to peel off and that really hurt. That was really unpleasant. So I did some dishes and then it came off a little easier. It's still, there's still some on there. Look at that. Yeah, see, that was pretty unpleasant. I'm just going over the gems. At this point, I'm kind of like, whatever. And I know I have a better brush downstairs, too. But I'm not going to get it. I'm already in it to win it here. Well, maybe I can make some straight lines. It'll look like it's supposed to be that way. So, yeah, feel free to chime in with your suggestions for a glass like this if to seal it how would you seal it I don't I know I can spray it I don't really like to do that though because I I worry about safety and toxicity and I'm already really close to the lip line the way it is and I don't want that I don't want to touch that and smoosh it up oh and I did All right, that's going to start drying and getting boogery. So I am just going to let this dry. Maybe I can save it yet. 
my husband liked it. He usually doesn't, he's not, doesn't dig a lot of my glasses. They're too interesting for him. But he liked this one when I started it. So, all right, well, I'm going to let this dry and I'll get a little picture of it after I throw a few more coats on it. I'm going to probably, for subsequent coats, I'm just going to use a, a softer brush and see if I can eliminate some of the lines. It's already drying and it's really not that bad. I was, I was far more disappointed when I started than, and that'll dry around those gems and it'll be clear. But yeah, you can still see where the glue affected the paint. And that's just, there's nothing I'm going to be able to do about that. So I, like I said, I think next time I would use my, probably my clear Gorilla Gel glue and then just, just use a tiny, tiny bit and just let it sit before I glue the next gem on so they don't slide. It would be a much longer, it would take much longer to do a glass like this, but. And I've used that before with glasses that had alcohol ink on them and, and it doesn't affect the inks. So that's always good. Um, but then, you know, those glasses are resined. So that gives it extra protection and in the way they're resined, they're super shiny and smooth. But all right, so I'll let this dry. I'm going to throw in a couple more coats afterward and I'll get some pictures up of the end product for you. This is not going to work for me. So I read you can sand decoupage with, I think, 400 grit sandpaper that's wet and get a nice shine. But I would think you'd have to have so many coats and it just isn't going to be worth it, worth the time to try because the glass is smooth and you want it shiny. So this is definitely a project that I would resin in the future. But for now, I am going to spray it and see if that helps. Ooh. Done. Well, this is a flop. It had potential, but we had the glue marks and the <laughs> terrible lines. And then spraying it did not help at all. And actually, it's still tacky, so it's going to dry and I'll throw some brushes in it or pens or something. Um, but like I said, this, this is definitely a glass I would resin. This isn't a good glass. Uh, it should be smooth and shiny. To resin over it isn't going to help. And I don't want to waste the resin because of the, you know, the goofy paint. And the, do the glass was a buck. And the spray paint for as much as is on here in the decoupage and the gems, you know, it's, it's two, three dollars worth of, worth of product. And I don't know, a couple hours three hours maybe of goofing around with it out of my life, but it was fun to try. So, you know, if you have suggestions or uh, comments, feel free. I know it turned out poopy and, and that's fine. It was completely an experiment. I've never spray painted quite like this on a glass. I've done other spray painting, but Yuck. So I don't even know if I want to keep it. This might end up in the recycling. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with me and you know, a couple funny moments. Uh, keep watching. Please subscribe. This is not maybe the best example of my work for you, but it was interesting to try. Um, but yeah, please subscribe because I do have a lot of really cool things coming up and I'm really excited to share with you. 
So thanks for hanging out with me for this time. I hope that uh, I hope that you at least had a couple of laughs at my expense. That's totally cool. So thanks much.